Hello everyone and welcome back to part 8 on how to create a Friday Night Funkin' Game in Roblox. In this tutorial, we'll be adding animations to our game. So that whenever they press a button, an animation will play. And I hope that will look pretty nice. So, what we're going to start with is go to plugin, plugins, uh, and try to find the build rig plugin and select R15 block rig. Or if you don't want to use R15, you can just go here, home, game settings, and I think it's in uh, avatar, and change this to R6, and press yes. And if you go ahead and play the game now, it should be turned to R6. As you can see, our camera tweens, and now we are the game is now turned to R6. And what we're gonna do is make some R6 or R15 animations. You choose what you want. Just go to build rig, go to R6, since we are using an, a, a R6 uh, game, and go to block rig. And then you wanna spawn it right here or wherever you want. And what I'm gonna do is open up your animation editor plugin select your character and rename your animation to whatever you want i'm gonna rename it to dance one and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create a an animation real quick it's just for example make like i want to make him like do this then in here i want it i want him to like do that <laughs> look pretty weird i'm not an animator so p please don't blame me i'm really bad at animating and that looks pretty bad and i'm just going to copy this put it here and he's just gonna do that one animate uh this is going to be my dance animation i know it's bad i know i'm bad at animating just go to Press these three dots. Make sure you do this. This is very, very important. Press these three dots. Go to set animation priority, priority, and select action. And then you want to go to press the three dots again. Go export, and you want to rename it to uh, dance one or whatever you want. And in the description, you can put whatever you want. So let's put. Uh, yes, for example, or dance one Then you're gonna press submit and then you want to copy the ID make sure you press this to copy the ID and Then we're gonna g Go in replicate storage add a folder rename it to animations And we're gonna add a animation an animation to the folder rename it to dance one and we're gonna paste in the animation and if you go back to star gui go to your main client script and in here whenever they press an arrow what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically just play the animation so local animation is equal to player con dot humanoid dot character dot humanoid or let's create a variable for the player's character so in, on the top here we're gonna do local character is equal to player dot character or player dot character added colon weight and then we're gonna create a variable for the humanoid so local humanoid is equal to character colon weight for child humanoid and down here we're gonna do humanoid local animation is equal to humanoid con load animation and game dot replicated storage dot animations dot animation dot dance one and then we're gonna play the animation animation con play and then you wanna copy this paste it here And let's put it right here. 
right here and we should be good to go now if you go ahead and play the game let's go to test start a two-player server and see how it looks so it's loading I'm going to put this window right here and this window right here and we're gonna hit play play and let's go ahead and make sure we are muted so I don't get copyrighted and then I'm going here and hold start and we'll go here and hold start and let's see how that works so as you can see it does work all it needs is um, some more stuff to make it um, I mean we need to make it so that when they press the button the animation should play so to do that we will copy these lines and to put them when they press the button let's do that again let's remove it from here the two lines and we'll paste them inside of here make sure you put them oh i did something wrong make sure you put them when they press after this if statement and we're going to do the same thing here then do the same thing again so just remove this paste it right here and remove it from here and paste it right here after the if statement as always and that should be good now what i want to do is instead of just uh setting the c-frame of the camera to the part we're gonna tween it, which will look way better. So inside of your, uh, inside of here, instead of just setting this to that, we're gonna just create a tween. So t t tween service. Oh wait, don't we have tween service? Oh, we don't have tween service. So let's get tween service. Local TS is equal to game come get service tween service and you want to scroll all the way down and you want to do ts come create cam comma um tween info dot new and we're going to set this so that it takes one second comma and you want to set the c frame to stadium dot cam part dot c frame and remove this and you should be good to go and in here you want to put a wait one second which is the time we are waiting for the camera to tween and if you go ahead and play the game now everything should work just perfectly okay so it's loaded and let's put this right here and i'm just going to close off the, these two windows from here and play the game and if i go here and go here you should see some smooth camera tween and i might just get copyrighted because of this song so I gotta mute again so for some reason it did not work oh because we did not play the tween just put a colon play and it should work perfectly this time I hope so <laughs> okay so it's loaded we're gonna do the same thing again play the game make sure we're muted this time because i'm not sure if this song is copyrighted or not and let's go here 
press play I mean press start and it shows the song and it wins the camera which looks really nice and as you can see when we press the arrow it, it doesn't it should animate the character oh because I'm here so let's see will it animate the character yes it does All right, so it does animate it, and if we go here, as you can see, the animation displays for the client and the other uh, the other client. So it does work for the entire server. And what we're gonna do now is we'll make it so that we give it a nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna give it a nice. Uh, animation actually we're gonna fix the uh, we're gonna fix this because for some reason it just chooses the same arrow so to fix this all you gotta do is do, is to divide it by a higher number so let's put math.random from 70 to 80 or let's put 60 or 50 to 80 and that should work again I'm gonna make sure we're unmuted okay so we are back here let's press start make sure we are muted as always and see how it looks okay so it means the camera and as you can see it does not choose the same arrow again which is good so let's wait and as you can see it now works perfectly let's close off this and what we're gonna do is i think and this quick tutorial this was just how to add animations to our game and I promise in the next tutorial what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a nice animation shop and a um, score right here which will display the score that the player has and it will he will get score whenever they they get a win or something whenever they hit the arrow and the keystroke registers which is really really easy we just gotta put something right here just gotta fire a mode event or something and yeah this is pretty much going to be it for today's tutorial i know this was a quick one but it was just adding animations and polishing the game and yeah if this helped make sure to subscribe like the video Share it with your friends and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!